You are looking good. Greeting supporters at their Hillsboro polling place, Republican Jack Chitterelli and wife Melinda arrived to take advantage of Jersey's new electronic early voting system this morning. After poll workers checked him in, Chitterelli scrawled his name on an iPad and entered the booth to cast his ballot in an election where polls show him running behind incumbent Democrat Phil Murphy by 9 to 11 points. What kind of impact do you think early voting is going to have on the election? I think it's really still all about vote by mail election, get out to vote via vote by mail and the turnout on Tuesday. We'll do a postmortem on this. I don't think we're going to see large numbers in terms of early voting numbers. But then again, we're creatures of habit and we're not used to this kind of thing. But I'm confident come election day, we'll get the turnout we need. The latest early voting numbers show more than 112,000 total votes cast, 45% of them by Democrats, 33% by Republicans, and 21% unaffiliated. Riders Micah Rasmussen says this system appeals to Republicans. Democrats don't have a huge edge on the early vote. Um, Republicans trust it. Republicans like hitting the button, going in the machine, and feeling that, you know, so so they are they are enjoying that system and more Republicans are using it. I would hope so. I'm very optimistic because that's what it's going to take to win the election. You know, most of our friends, everybody was voting early. So who did you vote for? All across the line, Republican. But Rasmussen notes vote by mail shows Democrats up by a far wider margin. Out of 451,000 ballots mailed in, Democrats cast 65 percent, compared to Republicans with just 19 percent and unaffiliated with 16 percent. It's not even a close contest. Democrats have um, a 200,000 vote lead right now. And by Election Day, it's going to be a quarter of a million vote edge that they have even before the polls open. It's not that Jack can't do it. It's that he's got to overcome that in order to do it. And that's a big, big, that's a big nut. Whether New Jerseyans vote early or on November 2nd, the numbers favor Democrats who have one million more registered voters than Republicans. Getting out the vote is crucial. Governor Murphy welcomed Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders to Rutgers, New Brunswick last night with the express purpose of motivating the college-age audience. You should not have to mortgage your future to get a decent education. Governor, thank you for making higher education in New Jersey more affordable. Murphy urged the crowd to get out and vote, listing progressive accomplishments like free community college for students who qualify, paid family leave, and strong gun safety laws. Plus... And by the way, we have legalized weed. I wasn't sure if that was going to get a reaction. Folks, I need you. You have got to vote, either by mail or early in-person voting, or if not, on Tuesday, November 2nd. I need you stronger, fairer, forward. Cheers don't necessarily translate into votes, but Murphy holds an edge in reserve campaign cash that will help get people to the polls on Tuesday. Early voting's available through Sunday evening at select polling places across New Jersey. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.